I've been living in Chicago for about a year and a half now, and I absolutely love it. I love the people, I love the history, I love the food, I love everything about it. I especially, especially love that I can just hop on a train and take it wherever I need to go. The only problem is I live about a mile away from the nearest train station, and after walking there hundreds and hundreds of times, it takes a little bit too long for my liking. So I'm hoping I can find a new method that can get me to the train station just a little quicker. Okay, now walking is just not going to work anymore, so I tried a few different alternatives. I tried sprinting to the train station, but I got really sweaty and I looked like a psychopath running in my street clothes. I took the hoverboard, but that thing is so flimsy and weak, like the second you hit a slight bump you get thrown off. I rode my skateboard, but honestly I still suck monster ass at skating. I rode a bike, but it just takes up way too much space on the train, I look like an asshole. I had Jack pull me to the train station, but that, that, nah, that didn't work, that one was pretty goddamn stupid. <sighs> These ideas didn't really work so well, I need to find a better solution. Imagine the places you'd go with the power of a car between your feet. Imagine no traffic, unrestricted city travel. Reimagine your day-to-day -day life. Go further. That is what I want. That's what I need. Now, I looked online. Solo wheels cost 900 bucks for the newest model, but old Matt did some research. You can get the older model for like 500 bucks, which isn't too crazy, but I don't have 500 bucks. I literally spent all my money traveling around the world, dancing with strangers, so I've got maybe like 20 bucks right now. So what I'm gonna do is um, probably just gonna have to sell some of my stuff, do some odd jobs at my parents' house, Maybe start driving Uber. I gotta start saving up money, because I need a solo wheel. I need it. I want it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. came today. Uh, Jack hit me with the scissors. Oh, that's not too heavy. That's like a good like workout thing too if you ever need 25 to pounds. Um, so I guess we'll just let it charge for like 30 minutes and then we'll pop on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stack 500 people on it. Wait, let me look at that again. Everybody's like having a good time. Everyone's enjoying the shit. Except for the guy who's driving. <laughs> don't, don't don't start on it like that. Start. All right. Well, let's move the camera because I'm gonna wail into that tripod. This is terrifying. Not bad. I'm horrified right now. I'm gonna fucking wipe. Okay. Okay. It did the thing. Okay. <laughs> this is very hard. Too bad. Compared to, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, compared to the hoverboard. Compared to the hoverboard, and I thought so the hoverboard was sort of levels around. above it. But we'll we'll get it. Just need to practice, and then eventually we'll be pros. And you know I picked it up pretty quick. I was a natural.
But that that's not important. What is important is that I worked hard, I saved up my money, and I got my own solo wheel. Now, I was surprised at how much money I made driving for Uber. Like, I was cleaning up driving people around the city. So much so that I had a few bucks left over, and I purchased a little something-something. And uh, let's just say, when I ride my solo wheel, it's going to make me look pretty cool. While on location by the sea.